So same last time, you know, you're trying to like learn Rio at the same time. And now we've got new stuff coming in now with our new maps. Uh, but for Atlanta Fakes, you know, it feels a little bit weird. They're coming off a, a monstrous win, very impressive result. Like weeks go by, it feels like it's so long ago they got the win, but who steals? Seeming like, I know, it doesn't feel like ages though. Yeah, I've been busy, but yeah, no, it definitely, it definitely I went does. to Colorado, saw my dog. Like yeah. there's been all sorts of stuff going on, but it feels like it's been ages, but like, Looks like the, the Draza move worked out. No, 100%. And I think for FaZe, this is great. Bringing in new maps because, you know, if you don't switch up this map set, maybe you don't really have much to work on. And you come into a lazy first match of the of the stage, and maybe it caught off guard. But I think we're starting on Vista Hardpoint. You're going to go 100% because you have to, and they always do, really work on that map pool. Yeah, so one of those things that maybe just helps you not get a little Yeah, stay sleep, motivated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this is a team where I don't know that that's needed to be a thing, considering they're the most consistent team in the history of our eSport when you talk about the past, like, five years. But it doesn't hurt, surely, to have something to work towards, something to improve on. Is, uh, yeah, the uh, previous map said they were looking pretty damn strong. But we'll see what Rocker can get going early. It's, uh, yeah, this new duo, kind of a Linz and Standy. Excited to see that. And I know Gunless has been, when he's at his peak, one of our favorite players to watch. I know it's been a while since we've seen him in that form. But when this guy's in his bag, he's disgusting. No, and obviously, you know, he's talked about teamwork being very important. And uh, that teamwork, he, he's trying to bring it to this Minnesota Rocker team. And I think accuracy in Gunless, I don't think there's going to be a worry there. They're going to figure out a way they want to play Call of Duty and, and try to get the entire team on the same page. I'm kind of interested to see how this Lin Standy duo does play out because sure. you had Vivid here. Vivid, very fast player. I think probably set up Lin's at times. Standy, I think he kind of be the opposite. Slower, sort of finds his kills, but it may put Lin's in a bit of a tougher scenario. Well, and it's becoming more of a conversation, especially with this title, because early on, you know, sort of your sub duo wasn't a, th a thing as much. Now we're getting some maps and modes where that's very much starting to become a thing. Like your sub duos are taking over. You saw the sip of easy that you were used to seeing at that last event, but uh, so far so good. Now we talked about the teams a little bit. Joe, uh, let's talk about this map a little bit. Well, I was gonna say accuracy just got blessed with a spawn right there is, uh, I mean, Vista, I think what we're really gonna focus on is P3 and P4. They are for whatever reason, right next to each other uh, <laughs> in that rotation. But I think this is where you can really find a giant lead here because I think Vista and Six Star from what I've seen still very early. There is, it's sort of old CODs, a lot of spacing. If you get put in the bad spawns, it's going to take some time to work across the map. Yeah, well, I mean, usually we want our hard points to kind of crisscross, right? Like, what do you think about it? Like, we go north to south and east to west as we try to get across the map. But yeah, now this one, you're going to kind of stay left side, try to rack up some time. Selium trying to explore the outskirts of the map, and he's going to get punished. Gunless comes through with two as well, so three will drop. It's Linz then also looking for number six and potentially a streak in his bag. And now a lead change here for Rocker. So as you talk about three and four, a moment now for Rocker to pounce. And this is what I mean. If you are phased now working these two hills, you have to go together. You cannot get staggered. You have to play your life. Old traditional hard point at, at a moment of some of these hills. So they do a good job. Draz is able to win the final one-on-one. -on -one. But as you said, we're staying on this left side for P4. And what's interesting about P4 is this hill wraps all the way around that wall where accuracy is right now. So you can at least contest this if FaZe does get pushed up front side. Well, it was a good little flurry there from FaZe. Kind of get into the last hard point, find a wave of kills, maybe put some pressure on this early point, but that doesn't come. The next wave, it's all Rocker. They lock it down. They get set up. And now the moments you're talking about, FaZe have got to be disciplined cannot be staggered, have got to look for the push, because this has been all the way up Rocker. Is standing out, winning an awkward one there on the steps, and he's on four in a row, dipping a dive and maybe towards some streaks of his own. Yeah, here we go. Here comes really the first pressure for Atlanta FaZe, but it's 35 seconds in. That's to be three and dead. Can he find number six? No, Selium somehow is able to find two, almost a third, but you have a great lead here, and they cash in on those hills we talked about. P3, P4, they have the lead. Yeah, maybe the only saving grace if you're Atlanta is what, it was five in a row for Standy, it was five in a row for Linz. Neither is able to pick up that cruise. So I guess if you get beat it, beat up and battered a little bit at three and four, at least you don't give up streaks as well. Uh, that's about it. Yeah, and then, and then you have a chance here to kind of respond, but accuracy gets through all the way towards the back. This P5, I think it's going to be tough to break. You really have to break through the middle of the map because you get a player top bridge. They're just going to lock down this side of the map, but standing on this catwalk, trying to find a kill and trying to get to accuracy because he's still alive and they've had to focus on him, which has allowed Rocker to get on the hill. Well, listen, we were wondering if we were to get to five and get to see. 
<laughs> Maybe a six star search and destroy didn't seem likely, but hey, so far so good for Rocker. They're looking strong out of the gate. And remember, this is a team of Rio Hardpoint came into it. I know, listen, it's a different squad, but accuracy is the person I'll probably credit with them finding a way to play maps early on. They were one of the better Rio Hardpoint teams out the gate. Remember, they were beating all the top squads. They were beating your Ultra. They were beating your Optic. I think FaZe was like the team that showed them down, but who knows? Maybe we'll see it again here. Yeah, maybe. Just as I say, FaZe is undefeated on Rio Hardpoint. That is one of their go-tos. But uh, yeah, through the first set of hills, 30-point lead. I think FaZe do a, a great job bouncing back here. Simp trying to flip these spawns, get behind enemy lines. He's able to do that. Junlis trying to lock down top mid, but Simp is there. It's now just both teams vying for control. Yeah, I'm more meant learning this one quickly. Not necessarily <laughs> winning that four. That's it. <laughs> that might be a different conversation, but uh, we'll see if it comes to that. But Simp, who was, uh, you know, your MVP from that tournament, from that final, was an absolute final form. He's struggling right now at 7 and 15. The feed lighting up again for Rocker. It's five in a row for Standy. Standy continues to roll. Draza tries to slow him down, but Standy gets the streak as the streak is earned. Let's get to a listen in now with Rocker. Uh, we're still hungry right now. Copy that. One more back 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Put it, put it, put it, I'm looking for the guy mid. Down the time. Oh, uh, he's already top side. Close lobby, close lobby weak. Close lobby weak, and then one mid. He's top yeah, side. He's on top right now. He's in lobby go somewhere. Left. Go left if you guys yeah, can. Okay, okay, okay. We also have a straight lobby. Lobby, lobby, sim. Lobby, 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 lobby. Top mid, top mid, top mid, top mid. Can you kill lobby for me or no? I can't, I can't. Sim's still lobby. Tower dead up middle. Tower dead up middle. Top side, 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 top I got gonna be one. I started your middle for you. I'm pushing the guy's sign. I repeat one. I'm going you one for you. One time, one time, one time, one time. You want dead? You want dead on you? Time, 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 time. Time, time, time. Time, time. I have middle. I have middle for you. Okay. Top side, 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 side. One bullet. Absolute side. I need help. One bullet side now. Sign back up. One up middle. One up middle as well. Sign up middle. Mid, mid, mid. Two side, two side, two side. Three old, three old, three old. Last three old. Yeah, yeah. Mid right. I'm doing everything. What's up, mid, mid? I'm mid, 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 mid. I'm trying to go through burger. I'm mid, mid. Yo, mid. They're going lobby. Sign in lobby. Okay, they're going lobby. I'm blue, blue. Okay, I'm blue, blue. I'm 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 for Shuns? You have a little blue? Yeah, I mean, I mean. No burger, I this one. no burger deck, no, 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 no. They're gonna be lobby, guys. I'm trying to block okay. one. Time, time, this one dead. Let's go lobby, let's go lobby, I'm pretty sure, guys. I'm picking up middle, I'm picking up middle. I see one. I have a middle, I have a middle. Blue, right? Oh, he's on time already. He's left, right left wall, left wall time in one bridge. I'm, 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 I'm. He's left wall time. I'm dead on middle. I'm, I'm left wall, left wall. Left wall, left wall, left wall. I'll pick up low, pick up low, one's low, one's low. I have your low, I have your low, I have low. No, 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 no. Chulo, 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 chulo. One blue stairs, one blue stairs, one blue stairs. One blue stairs, one blue stairs. One blue stairs, one blue stairs. A lot of time for FaZe during that. You're answering back if you're Rocker, but one thing kind of stood out to Joe and I was just gunless in that. He's always had solid comms, but I think you said kind of reminded you of Fellow a little bit. Like, yeah, very monotone, but sort of, you know, hey, can you help me here? No, all right, I'll help you out. Uh, you know, what good are we watching? Talk. Yeah, great small talk out of Gunless. Uh, the slaying is there for Minnesota Rocker, but FaZe, they do an excellent job at P2. They get 40 to 50 seconds, put them in the lead, and now maybe for the first time to have control of one of these hills, you see them on the bottom side of your map, Selly, I'm already set up at B4. I want just last thing from his comments I like that you don't hear a lot. It's just a kind of affirmation, like confirmation on something. Like when they were saying, like, you know, we're going to push left or we're going to hit this. Like him just sort of repeating it back so that, yes, I heard you type thing. I don't know. Kind of like that. But good stuff from Godless. But now uh, the streak that we saw earned earlier from Standy starting to toss into the fray. Not going to be able to connect. You're able to finesse and stay up if you are the side of phase. They come through with three on the feed in that sequence as well. We hop over to Sims POV, who was once, what, 7 and 14, 7 and 15. He's really started to fire back as he's gotten to about even, and probably a big part of why this game has started to swing in their favor is now he's melting. Yeah, I think him and Draza at P2 really got going. Draza, we heard it in the listening, like top sign over and over again. Yeah. He locked yeah, down this yeah. position, and now Sim getting going, looking for number ah. five. He hits it and on, on rotation. You have Draza trying to find it, but it's a foot race across the other side of the map. But I think Draza actually finds a timing against accuracy. He does. Now can he get some help? Not gonna ooh. happen, and Linz wins a big one. Uh, I think my reaction to, ooh, is the same thing you saw from Simp on the camp. Because he's thinking he's got a streak. He loses one. That's a great gunfight win there from Linz. Now you got set up in the hard point. You made sure no streak come in. 
And now we get down to the nitty gritty, the final moments of this one. Once again, it's Linz with a drop shot that's making Sip pay. Just can't quite track him. Linz finally traded out. Flurry of kills. Who's still standing tall though? It's gunless. Just using the bridge as best he can till the reinforcements come. Yeah, that's why you had to control P1 on this hill, right? Just those angles. Because if you could force them to push down low, you have the top bridge, you have P1 control, it is just going to be free kills all day. But FaZe do a great job breaking on through that P1, getting that angle on the gunless on the hill. Now 20 points away from winning Vista. And listen, I know it's you're playing against a new team, it's a new map, but the difference for FaZe this year has come in the hard point. These last few years is where the struggles have been. In the clutch moments at times, the wins have not been there. They've been going hard. They've been doing it late in games as well. Another chance to close one out with 15 more points needed. But these are the improvements these guys have wanted for years. Right now, they're working. Yeah, they are. Now 10 points away as they win this rotation. And well, it is the Tiny Terrors, 25 and 22, and then Abizi. He's got 50 plus engagements. He really got going. One of the biggest improvements from stage one to stage two was Abizi, and he starts off stage three with a 30 bomb. Listen, if it's Abizi on the year, it's Sip on the map, because God, what? Yeah, again, seven and 14 or so, he ends up like positive three. <laughs> He sort of erupts over the mid part of that game and a big part of why they start to rally, as you said, kind of that P2, but they go up 1-0 and, okay, so I know you've uh, well, you've played, I think when you were streaming, you played with some of your viewers on, you maybe hopped into rank and checked it out as well. You've watched some scrims, I know, too, as you, you talk to his crowd and some of the phase guys, but now seeing it in official competition, what were your thoughts? No, I think good. I think it has a, a good pacing. Uh, I, again, I think you're really going to have to take your time to, to break those P3s and P4 sort of traditional COD where if you get staggered, you're just going to get smoked off the map. But yeah, I think there's just some elements. There was that one spawn from Accuracy early on, I think at P2, where he kind of flipped the map. A little bit unlucky for FaZe. They're going to go back, make sure that doesn't happen again. But yeah, everyone's still learning. No, I, I like to hear you sort of reference traditional COD because, you know, there's newer fans where, you know, once we hit sort of the advanced movement era, it sort of just like a hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it, keep sitting in bodies. And then, you know, once we got to squad spawns and whatever came after, <laughs> after that era, it still was kind of like hit it, hit it, hit it, like throw bodies at it. But every now and then, yeah, you know, you, the game kind of plays how you want it to. A little more traditional. Take your time, work as a team, set up and collapse. Yeah, no, it really. Yeah. It, I know, I know, I triggered a bunch of stuff there for no, you, Joe. It, but... it, 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 it hits home <laughs> when I can just watch a map and it makes sense to my brain. Yeah, uh, yeah. which has been developed by Call of Duty. So, <laughs> it, it, yeah, I, I think so far there wasn't. Again, a couple of spawns are going to happen. Our teams are going to learn how to not allow those to happen. Yeah, how to block certain spawns. But so far, so good. It's kind of the big tale was that P3 and P4 we kind of talked about. And, you saw FaZe, at least on the second set of hills, able to break that P4. The cruise doesn't work for Minnesota Rocker. You can see they had that 40-point lead, but then the red just starts to go vertical. Uh, yeah, so I mean, solid solid win there for FaZe, but also, I mean, listen, it's early, but it's all mapping a Rocker, too, in the sense that you got a new squad. Like to hear some of the comms from them. Unfortunately, things were kind of unraveling as we went to listen in, but you were in the lead till the midway point of that game until FaZe really started to get it going. Now you try to bring it back on Search and Destroy. And for Rocker, yeah, I mean, for a while, there was just like the game five was their weakness. Like they just got to so many game fives. They have, we weren't really sure like what, if a chamber's going to come because they I was were- surprised by it. Yeah, because they were so competitive, but it just gets to a point where it's like, it's really cool you're competitive, but like we need CDL <laughs> points. Like it's gotta win. great, great job. Like you guys. Well, yes, I'm surprised. Maybe it's a two man move instead of one. Yeah, like, yeah, like, yeah. I think stage one, major one, you get top four. And you could see throughout stage two, yeah, they were competitive. Taking the best team should have won some of those matches. And you're just like, all right, this maybe this break will help them, but then a two man change comes in. I was a bit surprised by it. I thought maybe one, but here we are. Well, I think it's surprising because like, if it was just the competitive thing, sure, but you also got the top four with that. Right. Like, so you got That's the top it. four, and then you have this lapse where, like, you know, uh, you think about that stage two qualifier and, like, could have easily been, like, three or four more wins, which would have changed where you started the tournament, and who knows what would have been the outcome. So, yeah, I'm kind of surprised, but no, I think you kind of nail it. More surprised was, like, maybe a two-man change. But I mean, fact is, we're midway through the year. Maybe, uh, you know, a blessing for our bottom eight teams is it's so top four heavy where nobody's really out of it, and they have a chance to go out and get standing gunless, this is just, it's firepower, right? Like, you have a chance now to pretty much stack up against everyone in the league.
Yeah, and we're going to see like if this added firepower is really going to be what's going to solve maybe some of those issues. Because a lot of times, like when you're you know when you're losing those game five, it's like really tight series. At least in my head, it's not usually like a firepower thing. It's a uh, what little small mistake do we make here? What small mistake do we like? If you think of the things that plague Boston, plague Rocker. That's how I usually look at it. like little mistakes here and there, but. More often than not, when uh, you're on the cusp but not quite hitting it, you try to add some firepower. And speaking of firepower, you see Celium in search to destroy overall this season. The definition of it, a 1.36. My man's been gunning in search to destroy. We get right into it now. Rio, search, map number two. Yeah, this is where they won major, major number two, right? Uh, the last map versus Optic in that best of seven. They would slow it down, but also it was kind of just this tiny terror show, top middle between Abizi and Simp, just finding these first bloods time and time again as they take mid-map control away. I think Rocker trying to play a bit of retake towards top B, trying to give it up, but instead Linz gets caught. Yeah, he gets isolated, and yeah, you see the nades going to be able to hit. Think one Simtex maybe connecting. Brad come on through, then draws the lines of another, so... He's going to be working on the ace in this round while well, until Simp gets the kill. I'll be two for Simp, two for draws. Pick them apart one by one. And nice opener there from Atlanta Phase. Yeah, well, with the final two, that was like the map where, was it Selium had like Kenny like seven rounds in a row? Oh, bro. Just some awful timings for Ken time and time again. Well, it wasn't even like a timing thing. A lot of them were just like one-on-one -on -one gunfights. It was a headshot for Cell. Because I remember yeah. I saw Cell after it. I'm like, Cell, did you headshot Kenny like six times that map? He was like, yeah, I was frying him. <laughs> Okay, so. Yeah, he just, no, it was like one of those ones where, yeah, I think it was just gunfights where it was just a head and head shot was the difference. No. It looked real frustrating, though, yeah. for Kenny. Yeah, team changes, map changes, also weapon changes, right, with that MCW, so we'll see how that impact impacts things. All right, the no more four bullets, so we'll see how much of an impact it'll end up being. But still going to be the same guns in the equation for now. But yeah, draws and sip with the early kills. Draza with another. He's had back-to-back -back first bloods, once with the nade, now with the gunny leading the way, and Rocker falling steadily here. Yeah, it's kind of, you're, you're just giving them individual fights time and time again, and this could be, I don't know, the play of a, a new team, a new roster, just trying to get on the same page, but you're trying to slow the map down throughout both of these. You're spreading the map, and then you're just getting picked apart. There's no trade opportunities. It's one-on-one -on -one well, after one-on-one. -on -one. In phase, they win every single one of them. You do not have a kill yet if you are a rocker. Well, you know, you try to think about how to slow down a good search team. And, yeah, like, slow it down, sure. But I think when you watch somebody like a BZ or just like this phase team, they're very good search and destroy players. Usually very good search and destroy players are very good at what? Like, getting information and getting information with confidence in the sense of, like, clearing things quickly. It's like, I don't know, if you try to play slow against them, I, it sometimes turns into phase just getting a lot of map control <laughs> and yes. then isolating people is what ends up happening. Yeah, just kind of choking them out, especially this guy. I mean, when he is confident in search, nobody's going to stop this phase team. It just feels like Draza... He's really stepped it up since stage one. That resulted in a major two victory. Yeah, no, he did. He, uh, I think we were wondering, you know, when we first talked to Crowder after the change, like, listen, we think he's a great player, but I just thought they needed his swagger a little bit. Like, he was willing to track, uh, talk trash. He'll take whatever heat on social. <laughs> I mean, there's plenty of that going around after the major. And I think they just needed some of that. And uh, it showed, obviously, with the win. But uh, now... They get another first blood, another bomb getting planted. These rounds have been efficient. All right, John, let's get some on the board. This is starting to remind me of Warhawk S&D versus SB. Like, we were getting to that territory a couple more rounds, Joe. A couple more, yeah. <laughs> but Gunless gets him on the board. Now you have a one versus three for Standy. Turns into one on two, 30 seconds. Some time to work with. Nice little smoke, but that's just going to give them the info. They're like, hey, you can run through it. He's going to hop the bomb. They're going to double check it. Standy trying to find the one on three with the smoke, but does not happen. Yeah, that's uh, it got real, real close. Just kind of saw right on the edge of the POV, a little little snapback from Cell to kind of finish this off. Honestly, I thought his character model looked a whole lot different than that actually ended up playing yeah, right? out. Was just, oh, probably because I mantled the vehicle. Like, <laughs> I thought he, like for some reason, was dancing around a little bit to get that. But uh, no, looked uh, as pedestrian as could be in the kill cam. But it's been all first bloods. So that's just really, yeah, that's this map so far. Again, Rock River, they've tried to spread the map, tried to do it last time. This time, listen, they're going to go right over towards A. Going to have Cell and Simp here. There's the info trophy over them. Simp now just going to wait, hope to hit an aid. 
Here comes the utility. Get some info behind the nade. Able to hit. No follow-up. Selium looking for his fifth in a row as he's backing up from nades. Now the pressure's going to be coming on Zep. He's got a rival, though, so he's ready to dance. Unfortunately, as he goes around the circle, Ibizi is going to get caught. It's a, kind of an awkward sequence there at the van. Selled out trying to get out. Him and Draza trying to clutch up. That's scary because Ibizi, it took so long for them to push up. Hey, Ibizi repositions, but... Yeah, just sort of that timing for Simp. Then Abizi gets caught off guard. That first gunfight, the first blood goes to Rocker, and now you're in a position to win the round. Well, I mean, Simp's playing back then. You're not thinking about the shots coming in back then. That happens really fast, I'm sure. I bet Abizi snaps, but it's a little too late as the aggression from Standy likely ends up paying off. Rocker get a nice round, but... Yeah, that just looked like, uh, yeah, kind of like awkward little situation there. <laughs> yeah, because with the BZ at boxes, you have this crossfire with with Selium up top, where as soon as they cross his Hummer, you're just going to start getting team shot by all of Atlanta phase. And then if Simp here is there a couple of weeks, he just hops on up or just holds the white van so they can't push up towards the BZ. Like the crossfires were there. But whatever timing that rocker player got. Sandy, you know, yeah. Sandy's hit it. Yeah, yeah it, just, it, it led to, to the round win. Yep, yep. Ends up being a fantastic play of aggression there. We'll see if that one round will string into anything else. So we get back to offense now for a phase. Trophy up top, going to protect everybody for now for the rocker side. They're maybe a little worried about some early aggression up that kind of outward B street, but playing deep, it's going to be accuracy. And now you've got Deddy off from a BZ. Playmaker looking to make plays. Yeah, you don't have anyone up top middle. Now you do. Linz is going to rotate on over. He's going to be the first man up. And, well, he's going to find three players. Just trying to get the info with the slide, maybe catch a timing, but it works against him. It's now Gunless just trying to play his life. He does just that. Finds a kill, gets out. Yeah, that's just, I mean, you're just trying to help accuracy there, but the face know that. <laughs> so they're kind of ready and waiting. He gets caught, but... Now, what do you do here? The three versus three is a BZ. The movement a little awkward for a moment. He almost gets out, but Cell at least gets the trade. On to Lamar. Over to draw his POV. He's having a hell of a map. They are dancing. Standing, trying to get out. Not quite able to do it. Just never a chance to kind of get back to full HP. Maybe take a fight. His phase take the round. Yeah, it's just a question of does Lindsay the slide there? Like, maybe he just watches that cross, gets prone there, but... Doesn't have the info we do. Again, that first blood being costly right now for Rocker. I'm sure you know what what accuracy saw too. He's thinking they're flying at him, but yeah, he just hold the bridge for a second maybe. But if you do that, they can just literally run under the bridge. I guess I'm mean, re relying on accuracy to hit his shots or make a play. But Linz is. Uh, it doesn't really matter what decisions he's making right now. <laughs> it seems he's struggling in this map too. He's 0 and 4. See if he can get anything going in this one. Kind of a similar spot now for Draza on that side as they they get pressure forward. He backs up. The rest of the team kind of working to hit it's it on the read. flank. And yes, it is. I, I don't know if they had info on this cross or what, but it's three on the flank for FaZe. They all go back. But now Rocker well, looks like a great read as a team. Now down a man. Is selling able, able to win another one. Because of easy well, he got credit for that kill. Why right? Simp actually ended up killing him. So despite the read. He's still gun up with that rival. Selly and melting people as they're trying to hit the edge. Accuracy can't get across. All on Lens now, who got his first kill. Looking for more. Not going to happen. Time for the defuse. Fifth round up for FaZe. I thought that was going to play out so well for Rocker. I, I don't know. They saw... I don't think they saw anyone, but they just all backed up. Maybe just VOD. You know, prep work coming into this match. But as soon as they saw the top E, they knew two to three players would be pushing on through. It looks like they were repositioning for it. Still face coming on top. Yeah, I think if it's like, if they got there a second earlier before your, like, you know, rival nuke range, well, okay, I can nuke anywhere. But you know what I mean? Like, the fact that BZ was just able to kind of win that first fight. I catch them at a little more range, though. Yeah, I might just zap them, but... It looked nutty, though, from, like, <laughs> that POV. Gunless just comes out, like, pre-fire jumping around the corner. Like, oh, they got this. No, no, they do not. So one more round needed now for a phase. And it looks like they want to hit this. Is there working right to be? Lone Man for now will be Lens, who still looking to really make a, his presence known within this map. Yeah, and FaZe, no, I, I mean, they've done this a couple of offensive rounds now where they've just taken B for free. So, Bomb planted 40 seconds. If you're going to play for these retakes, this is where you have to cash in if you are a rocker. 
Giving up this spot now, trying to use the smoke from Standy. Almost catches a BZ. But after all of that, after the smokes are down, it's still a four versus four. Time dwindling now. 25 seconds to go. BZ reposition, snap back, takes a second, and once again, just able to weasel away to sell his POV. Pistol up, pistol a pop, and last man up. It is accuracy. Look over the 1v3 ice. Not going to happen. They send it at him. It is calm. It is casual. It is dominance there from Atlanta Phase in the map, too. Six to one. It's all smiles. And yeah, I, I think you kind of nailed it. Like, listen, I, I think it's a lot of things. It's like a perfect storm in a way. Like, Draza coming in for this team has been huge, right? Selim has just been sell. I think he's just been a constant for them these last few years, even talking about the position stuff. But like, even with Simp being like in the MVP form, the biggest thing is like, Abizi's back being Abizi, bro. Like, I had no problem with like Simp winning MVP because he was God. But like, Abizi has been, once again, just a tear on the map. No, oh, yeah, just playing confident and winning a lot of those first bloods. And that's just what FaZe do. Uh, you know, Rocker opted to give up a lot of the map time and time again. And again, you can do that. You just, your executes and retakes, they have to be fantastic. And unfortunately, it's a brand new team. That is going to take a lot of time, a lot of repetitions to get on the same page. FaZe know that they win 6-1. Yeah, FaZe is just one of the better teams at, you know, playing aggressive and not getting picked. They just, they, they, they have always had been. That's why they've been a good search team. They can play for info. They, they can play for map control, not throw away lives. They, they've always been solid at doing that. And uh, yeah, they dominated. So, I mean, so far, um, FaZe kind of came out, I guess, as you expect. They just won their last tournament. So not, not much we're looking at there. But what about Rocker? And I, what could he even take from that search? I, I thought the, you know, I mean, search is going to take time. I thought the hard point was, was competitive. I mean, you know, new map, new roster. They look, they look solid on it. Okay, all right. Well, that will do it uh, for our map two. We're ready to continue on this best of, best of five. We'll see if FaZe can close it out in the map three, or maybe somehow we go the distance we get to see a six star. Uh, but for now, we go to break. When we return, it is control. Never miss a match of your favorite teams with the Call of Duty League Calendar Sync. Here is the fun part. When you add a calendar, you'll also receive a squad up calling card you can use in game. Upgrade your game with a scuff. Save $30 on the official CDL collection at scuff.co slash CDL. The Call of Duty League is brought to you by Monster Energy, the official energy drink of the CDL.
Hello and welcome back. We continue on with our best of five here. It is our first match of our qualifier three for the CDL 2024 season. Atlanta Faze versus Minnesota Rocker. We're going to take a look at some stats from uh, Selium, who is uh, very good at just about everything statistically. Yeah, I mean, his numbers just seem fake at times. <laughs> they really do when you just look at this across the board. I, I don't know. I'd love to just watch his POV for a bit um, just throughout a match, but you can see it right there. He's number one across the board, and you're kind of seeing sort of uh, just some of the videos from the optic side, the phase side, like the mind games between those two and how this man just unfazed by whatever they do. Do you remember that graphic? I think it, I think it, I assume it was a CW year and not MW, but I remember like, you know, I, I'd love to battle a production team on graphics and stuff. We had that one graphic we would show every time phase play that they were just like first in everything. It was just like first, first, first. I'm like, we got, I was like, we got to have something else. We show every map they play. Yeah. They were like first in every mode, but we gotta come up with something else. Yeah. But sell individually. Yeah, guys, an alien. I, I, I love KD around 1.2, but you saw there four and one on the year for phase. Maybe a map they haven't played too much throughout stage two. I think it, it, you yeah. know it was vetoed against them. I think as well. Uh, you know, like first a team like Opti, they were vetoing it. So maybe just another map they want to bring back into their map a little bit more often if they have the chance to. If they have the chance to. Um, I can't believe I almost blinded you before casting today, too. Yeah, you oh, sprayed. Yeah, I don't know. Hairspray in my eye. Uh, yeah, well, I didn't know it was hairspray at the time, and I was trying to make sure Joe was locked in, and I think I sh yeah, shot hairspray in his eye. No. That's a story for another time. I'm locked, baby. Yeah, don't yeah. worry about <laughs> me. Step into the pit. Looking for some help. May not need it. As he's bobbing, weaving, sliding, and now looking to push out for the final one, but uh, he'll just clear the zone. Is uh, the defense looking like the offense for a second there? They had two inside, just locking down A. Yeah, clearing that point. And then a couple of big individual gunfights here. One uh, by Rockter, at least get out of this trap. The first one by Linz, the second one by Standy, and then they go right back into a 3 4 down scenario. So already 30 seconds off the clock here. Is Rocker going to have to try to get out? The good thing for them is Junkyard is open. That's where accuracy and Linz are going to go. Dunless will find the first kill. Maybe that will open things up over towards the A point, but not yet. Got to deal with Abizi in red. So much room to finesse and dominate there inside of red for Abizi. Right out to mid we go, and Draza is roaring. Gunless nearly sent back the challengers with that gunfight. Draza's on one. I mean, that's just a little pop-up that hits. Yeah. I, I, you know, we've seen it time and time again. That pop-up hits. You lose him for a second. And then the headshot is in 15 seconds, or is this going to be a perfect defense for Atlanta phase to start? But that's going to be three dead, and on to the point we go. Nice recovery there. Yeah, no, they, they get out. And I feel like anytime you think it's going to be like perfectly bottled up, usually something happens. It's a last, last ditch effort, but we'll see if it'll end up being enough. They still have a lot of progress to do. I imagine you're going to send a push of this to your face. There's 11.5 seconds. Why the hell wouldn't you? They'll try to set this up, but gunless. It's funny, his only death was that gunfight. <laughs> he dropped outside of that. He was four and one to that point. They get onto it. The contest is here. They are fighting for it. Abizi, Draza, get the kills. Time dwindling once again. You got to go if you are rocker. Ooh! Nice little snap there from Linz on it at point one. Like basically, it's zero. You get on it, but you're cleared off of it. Couple of wild gunfights there from draws a snap up top. The lens on the barrel there is burning up easy. And I think what I like throughout that round is you saw inside that A point, it can be like so nice because there's so much cover. But then you just look up and there's just so many angles you can oh, get yeah. shot from. And it can be the best thing in the world or I don't know, the pit of hell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why I call it the pit earlier. Yeah. <laughs> Literally, that's what it seems like. Just so, so if you have your, your teammates around, you're like, I can win anything here. Yeah. If you don't, it's just like, all right, where am I going to get shot from? Yeah, you're like Natalie Portman in Black Swan, dude. You're twirling, just trying to find people. Sure, yeah, we can go with that. Yeah, I don't know. That's how I went to Ballerina Gel, <laughs> <Okay>. but uh, <laughs> now to phase his offensive attack. We'll see if they can close things out with efficiency. Here and one above, and then snapping up top, Standy. Put six feet under. A BZ, maybe uh, the juice is flowing after he got gunned by Lens. My goodness, yeah. I mean, just these rivals are hitting. It's that initial stat snap. I swear the rival, sometimes you just kind of lose. And I think that's what we're seeing from some of these gunfights. But if you hit your initial bullet, 
I swear that thing is just a laser. Yep. No, that, that is Call of Duty in a nutshell. Hey, your first first bullet. Welcome to Aim Assist Central. It's going to stick. As Simp trying to stick people in the dirt and work towards this sef second bit of objective. Get that minute extension. They're also trying to win the fight out towards junk side. I think it's draws that's leaking out that way. Already set up, kind of patiently waiting, will be Len. So you've given this up. You'll let them get this minute. You're not going to risk the biscuit. Risk it for the biscuit. <laughs> You're going to now wait. Try and trap him in for B. Yeah, pretty soon they might not start risking it for some biscuits. Though, yeah, are so. we risking biscuits? There's biscuits everywhere, Joe. Yeah. <laughs> to get back into this map. <laughs> yeah, A, A. Gonna go over to Atlanta phase, but on the opposite side of the map, you do have some nice positioning here. Standy needs to find Draza, and he will, to at least set up this layer of defense for Minnesota Rocker. Just give him all biscuits. I'll take a biscuit. Yeah, I kind of want a biscuit now, honestly. But you gotta hold this off. You know, they get the offensive round, but even though I know it can be favored on Karachi at times, and the hole just gets deeper. With some desperation, you're trying to stop this if you are Rocker. Standy trying to tuck away. Strong enough for the first, not quite for the second. Gunless now still inside of red. Well, a dumpster side alley draws is going to get caught as he starts to layer it up that way. You're kind of all over the map right now if you are phased, but Sally is still finding kills. Yeah, I think they're just trying to get some map control and then sort of collapse onto the point. You're yeah. hoping Draws is able to work through the spawn. He's going to go for it again because Rocker have done such a good job inside of red, behind Linz, behind Standy, locking this down. And so what does that force you? When you're spawning Coop side, you kind of have to go through the middle of the map or work the defensive spawn. Straza just around this yellow car, just trying to find anything. Does find Gunless, but Gunless with superior positioning, able to win the gunfight. fight. And sometimes this is where we've seen like Atlanta face on this particular map, like on offense. Uh, like they've had their moments, they've struck, but sometimes they spend so much time like kind of trying to get that perfect setup. It never really comes along. And then it just seems like they've been kind of run around mid-map in red for five minutes until the round's over. Um, but now you've got a chance. You've got three players here pushed up. Selium has turned this into a three-on-two towards the point as well. Once tracking back from junk side, that gets picked up by Cell as well. But Standy gets three. Standy doing everything really defensively to hold this inside of this. Standy will kill the entire squad and really hold this off. Yeah, I think it's just a philosophy because, you know, some teams, what they might do is spawn up troop side and try to work all the way back junk because they're trying to force the close red spawns, right? Just over and over and over again where I think their thinking is if we go through the middle of the map back alley, we get onto the point, you kind of just leave that person out of it. Yeah. Whoever's junk. And we have a three on four near the point or around it. It's just they can never really get inside of it. And that allows Rocker to tie up the map? No, no, I, I think you and I have talked about, like, sort of their offensive pushes there and struggles at times over the course of this year. Like, it just never seems like they get what they're looking for, whereas other teams are better at just kind of getting a kill and hitting it sometimes. It's just, just flooding red until you have control or junk until you have control, and then things unravel eventually. But yeah. They're never able to get to that. Standy will be on four in a row because he kind of wipes everybody out. His streak is high as uh, accuracy is total kill count to this point. There's number five now for Standy. Deady up, looking to hunt. Maybe take a little confidence from that round win, especially maybe for Standy as he got all the kills. But uh, as the team drops around him, he's able to earn the cruise. Yeah, able to find that cruise. Now one teammate on the point just kind of looking over him, locked it down middle of the alley. Accuracy was trying to work his way over towards B. Same with the rest of the team now, trying to fly on through. Team kill does come on in, but there's those close spawns we were talking about. So this two on two goes the way of Rocker. B is open, Draza off spawn. He's the only one there for now. Oh, I think on the other side of it, you just heard somebody, if you were Cell, so you were able to try that. He was going to get a fortunate death. I, yeah, I thought, like, I don't know. He just turned. It was like he got high alert. Yeah, and that's what it looked like. <laughs> I was just, like, looking at the minimap and just seeing how that, like, little skirmish played out as well. But, yeah, he, I guess either he shot or he heard something because he yeah, just he snapped. Because I was thinking if he died there, that's an even bigger opening for them to push through. But somehow this sort of, you know, it looked crazy for a moment. You get, uh, get back to calm here if you're face. Yeah, have a player on bridge locking down top three. That's going to be Draza. Hear the clock ticking. One player does get on to A. It really did look like a mini map, like high alert snap. No, he <laughs> does, but accuracy somehow wins that. So now you have a chance to get done with A, and you're already on to B. So a big one-on-one -on -one win. He only had six kills, but that one was massive because the BZ was there. Simp, just able to finesse. Rest of the team come through with kills as well. You have what? You see the half a tick 
to get A done. You're all spawning up close to red, though, so you're probably thinking we got to hit B from this position, and they try to power it on through. Sells me the one up top of the eyes. Gunless has already got tags into him. He's in a challenge, and Gunless will get the headshot, so beautiful win there. Back over to Draws we go. He has rival in hand, but accuracy puts him in the dirt. Slams him with the MCW. It's Sims' turn to try and fly in. That's not going to work out, and suddenly B getting ever closer. And now you're on A as well, so what's the call here? You're already going to get accuracy off of it. You're going to have to give up B, so great job by Rocker. They get those close red spawns. It's kind of what we talked about coming in around. Just flood it. Yes. Time and time again, it may happen sooner or later. They're able to execute. So get done with B. Now a tick to work with at A. Here comes the streak as well. You just want to shut this down. Take the 2-1 edge. If you are able, looking and hunting, not hitting, but the teammates are. You just have one player on oh, it for now. No. Though. Okay, never mind. You have nobody on it now because the teammate comes in. So Standy tries to track back to it. So, so close. Contest is in. Right over his head goes Abizi, but is he searching for him? Abizi will get the kill. You've cleared off that progress now, so they have to get the entire tick. You have no response remaining. It's a five versus four. We're basically into a search and destroy round. Five in a row and a chance for a streak now for Gunless, but to a 4v4 we go, or sorry, 5v3 we go after the kill from Draza. They're getting picked apart. Draza, another big one here. He's on three in a row late and on 22, leading everybody in the lobby. You use a cruise here. Gunless is able to earn another one. Does he want to go for the round win, or are they just going to be happy with this? Looks like Accuracy going to drop onto the A point or near it. Now one on three for Gunless. There's no time either. Nice gunfight win, but three seconds to go. Nothing you can do. You'll take a seven spree into the next one, but that's just so... That reminded me, honestly, of like a you know, round that would have cost Rocker a map, like when they were in that, that skid. Like, just a very winnable one that comes down to some wacky finish. They end up losing it, and I'm like, oh, that's another one for Rocker. <laughs> well, it, you know, really, it's that team, Nate. Obviously, there's a skirmish going down on the A point. You had Standy pushed up red, and he kind of has to leave his spot because the team, Nate, on a, a accuracy throws it on one of his teammates. Obviously, doesn't mean to do that, but it connects, and that kind of forces Standy to have to back up to the point. He no longer has the mid-map cutoffs. Gives up map control. No, it's like one domino falls and the other dominoes have to move as well. Because <laughs> just <laughs> the impact. But you're right onto it early. A little fake here on A. I mean, really, you just put one player on it and then this is a three man B hit. So Sims like, all right, I'm sacrificing my life. Good luck, gentlemen. Yeah, no, honestly, yeah, just throw him right into the pit. <laughs> and then everybody else is going to go to B. And this is well where they kind of struggled. You know, after they got that opening onto A, was the pressure here, so they're thinking, let's just do it right away. Nice little jump shots there from Lamar, though, through the mid-boss window. Abisi and Simto, the tiny tears, they're doing their thing. Draws has gotten into help as well. He's now on four in a row, as he really lit it up, and a big part of why FaZe won the tail end of that round from a live standpoint. Second bit of progress is done. Draws is still dancing, dipping, diving with death, trying to just play his life, and the help is there. The contest is through for a moment. You're not quite out of it yet. Yeah, just now, where is this player? And while he gets his right, it is Standy, though. There is the trade, almost wins the second one. But Abizi now on to the point, and again, just keeping this messy is Atlanta phase. One more challenger, and the timing just a little bit off for Abizi. So accuracy and Lynn's locked down B. Yeah, I mean, Selwa got to the balcony, was just trying to get whatever shots in he could, but couldn't really help, but based on some of the angles it looked like to actually put help in for Abizi, but. Your second bit of progress is done now at A. You need one tick on either side. Clean shots from Draza from the pit. Rotating over the other end of it is Simp. But now this is just, yeah, a little bit of a... Uh, a little bit of mess, a little bit of aggression that you couldn't really find in the first offensive take for your face. Yeah, I mean, now just with one tick left, you have a five life advantage. And you kind of play the way they, they want to. That's true. Just bleed them out. Now you have this pinch coming in from Selium. It looks like Standy might read it, and he does. But that'll be the first domino. Gunless is pushed up towards Ticket, able to find the first, and that's going to slow things down. So not out of this one quite yet. That was really nice timing on the peak there, just with kind of sell it up easy. Pitching backside of the diner. Make that push a little bit easier. <laughs> From dumpsters, it can be so, so difficult. Abizi's being stunned up by everything. He's like, my knees, I tore my hamstring. I tore my hamstring, but I'm still able to slide. Oh, he almost snaps onto another one as well, but they'll be taken out for now with 90 seconds to go. And now they're kind of put in this position again. 
spawning up deep over towards Coop's side, but just opting to fight through top red and the balcony, but that's going to be three dead. Maybe the chance to end this match. Yeah, you got that close spawn. You've got three here. You got to track it over pretty deep side junk for the last player in the way of Draza, and now you've lost Simp. There's still one just laying close. Honestly, you've done a pretty good job with this if you're yeah, a rocker. Yeah. Like, nice retake. Nice job dealing with the aggression. Now you're kind of back to step one in a way. You've at least got bodies over towards that red side push. You can still hold this. Will it come down to lives, though? We'll see. Nice double chop. Yeah, I think Face is just going to try to... Trying to hit this, make it messy again. Rockstar trying to slow it down as much as possible. 45 seconds left. Both teams just hunting. Hunting through red, checking all of their corners. It draws it. He's going to find two. 29 and 19 for him. Trying to find a 30 bomb and the match win with the big 3-0. There's always just one more player for Rocker, and they have done a good job so far. Any time he can stop this clock, though, is great. Any contested time just allows them to maybe take this to lives. Every single second, he's able to stay on the point. Draws a went big at the tail end of the last round when it came down to lives. He does a big job here, staying up, getting kills, buying time for his team. Now you have three lives remaining for Rocker. Linz has got the entire Atlanta phase team about to drop kick him. He drops Standy and Gunless trying to stand strong, not quite able to do it. It's all on Standy. Welcome back to the league. Good luck, sir, as he's done it so far. Five seconds to go. Somehow, Standy with 7 HP is able to get out. Close red spawn. They're right under the point. Wins another one. No way. No way. He one regents. versus one. Oh, my God. Standy nearly does it. That would have been insane. To a 1v1. We had a couple of search rounds there to close out our control. Woo, I started with that. I was like, welcome back to the league. It's like all four were flying, and then suddenly it's a 1v1 inside a diner. Yeah, unfortunately for him, those close red spots came in. So yeah. he gets the one on two. He, he makes the heads up decision. I can't allow them to group up. They're weak. They're stunned. Takes the first one on two, repositions, but then the second players are already on to the point. And yeah. I think if it's probably any other player than M MC, he might have a, a better chance because he's the one who ends his clutch in the search as well. Yeah, no, like... In that spot where you have a rival versus an MCW, like most other MCW players, maybe maybe you're okay. But yeah, Cell is maybe the hardest kill in the game. <laughs> that's just, that's that's the guy you hope it's not. He clutches up. They take the series 3-0. Draza puts up 32 and nearly 6,500 damage. You know, Draza started a little rough, a little shaky with this team. We're talking very early in this 2024 season. He keeps playing like this, though. Woo! Yeah, and the other side, I think the respawns, you saw, I think, some glimpses. I mean, Gunless, 26 and 15, Standy as well. Like, this is what we're talking about. There is some firepower there, some individual talent. We saw multiple times from Standy in the search in some of these 1vx scenarios. Almost does it towards the end of that round. Just a, a tough couple of first matches.